raining all day. Most of Alabama's getting soaked. About 44 degrees, somewhere in there. It's thundering and lightning. But I gotta check traps. So, soon. Finally got one. Had a couple monsters showing up in front of that camera during deer season, so that may be one of them. I don't know. Three traps set. This one in the middle didn't catch, but obviously the others did. Uh, that makes four for 23 on the day, so pretty good day to get out here in this nasty weather. Might have saved some turkey nest today. That's the goal. Here we are again. Same exact one that caught first yesterday. Caught again last night. Um, it's been raining all day, like ridiculous amounts, and uh, everything is soaked. Some of our bait may have washed away, I don't know. I don't expect to catch four today. Anyways, on another note, check out this clover. It's everywhere. So this is what happens when it rains all day. This place uh, never has water standing in it. And as you can see, it's flooded. There's the trap, pretty much submerged. That one right there is. I need to keep tabs on the trap to make sure they don't get underwater. I'm probably just gonna leave them because I don't anticipate this water standing here very long, but that one caught yesterday. It did not today, so. Onward we go. Got number two on the day. I'm um, getting close to being done, but caught this guy by this beaver pond. A lot of times they're going to be close to water and they'll walk the edge. So uh, I set this one pretty close to the water's edge. And it took a couple days for him to find it, but he found it. I'm not anywhere close to a professional trapper, but I'm going to show you how we set our traps. Last we use these dog proof traps. They're dog proof because the dog can't can't get his foot in there. Um, they're pretty easy to set. You just use a uh, you got a rebar stake stick in the ground. The best ones that we found are the ones with a T handle. You can push them in and pull them out easier. But um, basically, you just squeeze this thing together. Probably would help if I washed it off, but I don't want to go through the time pulling the stake up. So I set the trigger as loose as I can so the trap is set. There's a trigger down inside here when the coon reaches his hand in and grabs it. It catches his arm and he can't go anywhere. Um, so I'm just going to set it nice and kind of at an angle. And what we use for bait most of the time, um, there's a lot of ways to skin this cat, but what we use most of the time are uh, marshmallows. I found that the little ones used to use a big one on the trigger and uh, they kind of got too messy to handle. So I'll just get a handful of little marshmallows, drop them down. Most of them will go under the trigger, kind of, kind of get them to where they're slightly above the trigger. And uh, then just for a little extra scent, a little sweetness, put a cherry on top. And uh, that's pretty much how we set them. So like I said, that's not professional by any means, but it works. Ended up with two today, two out of 23, had four yesterday. Been raining all day, everything's soaked. I'm surprised we had two, but uh, it's not too bad. I just spooked a few turkeys right here at these last traps, but I'll take that in order to try to catch a few coons. We've caught 21 coons and two possums in about two weeks or so, me and my brother. And we have roughly a couple dozen traps of these, these dog proof traps. And it's pretty easy, um, really we're not, 
putting a ton of effort into it. The biggest effort is mainly getting out here every day and making sure you check them every day. Yeah, it's not always the most fun thing to do after work or whatever, but I think in the long run it helps out. Probably five or six years ago when we started this, the place had never been trapped and there were coons everywhere and we caught probably 70 to 80 coons and possums all together. But, you know, we're, we're mainly just kind of lazy trapping, as I call it, just riding down roads looking in mud puddles for tracks, looking beside ponds like this, any creeks or ditches or anything, anywhere you think a rac raccoon might live. You know, if you see tracks, set a trap, set a couple traps and give them a few days. See if you catch them, if you don't move on to the next spot. But we basically hit it for a few weeks, three or four weeks after deer season before turkey season starts. And you know, if you can knock out 10, 20, 30, 40, 100 coons, whatever it may be, that's a lot less chances of, of hen's nest gets predated when she starts uh, laying her eggs. So it's it's pretty simple. If you are fortunate enough and, and blessed to have a piece of property of your own or you, or you lease some or have access to some land, it's a great thing to do to make sure that you've got turkeys to hunt in the future. That's the main reason we do it. I wanna do everything I can to make sure they're around for, for a long time. So like I said, I'm not gonna do too many more of these trapping videos, I'm sure, but I just wanted to get that word out there that's why we do it you know it's, that's what it's all about so thanks for hanging in there with me i don't want to make these lengthy posts or anything but get ready to check a few spots in the evenings as soon as all this rain gets out of here and start doing a little scouting and trying to find some birds for when season gets here so